in Maya you have different ways of modeling. You have polygon modeling, which is the most simple one, I think. And you have NURBS modeling, which is a little bit more complex, uh, I feel at least. Usually you say that polygon modeling is best for, uh, for mechanical objects, while NURBS modeling is best for organic uh, shapes. Uh, often that is true, but uh, it is very common to use uh, polygon modeling for, uh, for organic uh, geometries, uh, humans or, or things like that. And it's very common to use NURBS for mechanical things like cars and so on. So I recommend that you try both tools and see which one is the best. I'm going to show a little bit NURBS modeling and in order to work with NURBS you have to be in the surfaces part of Maya. Under create I have different sorts of primitives. When I do polygon modeling I usually start with a polygon primitive like these ones and then transform it. When I work with NURBS primitives or NURBS modeling, I can start with a NURBS primitive. But usually when you work with NURBS, you start with a, a curve instead. And then you, you create a geometry or surfaces from that curve. So in order to show NURBS modeling, I have to start with the drawing tools. And on the create, we have the CV curve tool and the EP curve tool. And let's see what is the difference between these. I go to an orthogonal view, uh, in this case the front view, because when you draw curves, it is much better to be in one of the orthogonal views. Because if you are in perspective view, the curve will be uh, uh, curved through 3D space and it will be quite difficult to decide exactly how the curve goes. But if you create the curve in orthogonal view, it will be confined to a plane, which makes it much more easy. If I start with the CV curve tool and click out a few uh, control vertices. Uh, control vertices are the points here. Then you'll see that the curve passes not through the points but uh, on the side so to speak and it is as if the control vertices are magnets that drag the curve into a shape. So if you work with uh, the, uh, the um, CV curve tool Usually you don't have that very preci much precision, but the curve becomes more uh, flowing or flu fluid, so to speak. If I select the EP curve tool and do the same, then you'll notice that uh, the curve passes right through the different uh, control vertices which make it possible to do more sharper bends in the curve, for example, and more control. And which one I use depends on what I want to do, of course. <coughs> if I look at these curves in the perspective view, you will see that they are confined to one plane, so it's more easy to work with them. And if I, for example, take the upper curve here, I can duplicate that one with Ctrl D and then drag it over here. Here is the two copies of that curve. The reason why I duplicate it is that it is very good to have the same amount of control vertices alongside both curves. But I can also draw two different curves and do the same thing with this. Uh, I can manipulate the curves uh, by going into this uh, 
select by component type mode and adjust the different control vertices of the curve like that and then go back to object type mode to select the whole curve. What I can do now is to make a loft between these curves and that is creating a surface between them. I select both of the curves and then go to uh, surfaces and loft and in this case I click on the property box and the property box makes it possible for me to control uh, the tool before I use it. And we have lots of settings here, but one of the most important ones is this one, output geometry. Because usually you want to use the curves in order to create NURBS surfaces. But if you prefer working with polygons, you can also select to create a polygon surface based on these curves. And if I click loft here, you'll see what happens, that I get the surface here. If I go over to shaded mode, you'll see that I have a quite nice surface here. I can edit this later on by selecting the curves and transform the curves afterwards like this and be careful not to select the, the uh, surface but the curves like that. Another thing that you can do with uh, curves and NURBS modeling is that you can make a revolve. Uh, if you say that you're, let's say that you're going to make a, a glass uh, or, a, or a vase or something like that, then you can create a profile and rotate that profile in order to create a circular shape. And <coughs> It, it is absolutely best to do this in the side view here. And I select one of the curve tools. Uh, it works with both CV and EP curve. <coughs> and in this case, it can be very good to lock parts of the curve to one of the grids here, especially the mid uh, grid here. The, uh, the vertical axis going up from the origo, the middle of the scene. And we'll, I think you'll see later on why that's important. And I lock again. And locking is done by pressing X on the keyboard. If I press X on the keyboard, the curve snaps to the grid lines in, in Maya. Okay, I press enter. If I go over to perspective view, I will see how this curve looks. And what I can do now is that I select the curve and then I rotate the curve around the vertical axis, the Y axis. So I go up to surfaces and revolve and I press the property box here once again so I can control the um, tool. Uh, I select which axis the rotation is supposed to be uh, centered around. Uh, the Y axis is the green axis pointing vertical up, so that one is the correct one. I can decide on the sweep angle if it's supposed to be a whole circle or a half circle or so. Uh, I want a whole circle, so I let it remain on 360 degrees and uh, the number of segments I can control. Uh, it might look a little bit better if I use more segments. And here also I have output geometry, so I can output this as uh, polygons, but let's make it as a polygon just to see how that looks this time. So I press revolve now and then the, the the curve rotates and creates this shape. <coughs> and afterwards I can select the curve 
again and change it. And in that way I can change this uh, shape uh, later on in a very nice way like this.